Do you self what? Self-soothe. <clears throat> self-soothe. What are your practices for making yourself unstress? It's a really important topic because a lot of people turn to food, TV, alcohol, gambling out of loneliness or because they don't know how to take care of themselves. And there's nothing wrong with any of those things in moderation. Some people take their stress way too seriously. I'm Reed Mahalko from readaboutsex.com. I'm Kathy Martilli from theintimacydojo.com. Kathy, how do you, what do you do to self, first off, why is self-soothing important? A lot of people don't know how to self-soothe, and our society really sucks at teaching soothing. Please continue. Okay. It's too cold. What we understand about neurology now in the brain and the nervous system is that, you know, if you're not taught how to calm yourself down, it's not usually something that, like, overnight you just wake up one day and you're like, oh, this is how I get my brain to shift from its sympathetic nervous system to its parasympathetic nervous system. This is how I de-stress. Mm -hmm. And so self-soothing is really important. One way to do that is just try different things and see what works for you because everybody's a little different. Some people love candles in the bedroom at night. They really annoy me, the flickering lights. Mm -hmm. Other people love essential oils that really soothe them. It doesn't really work for me. Some people like face masks. And chocolate ice cream. Homemade chocolate ice cream. It's a little too hard to eat, but good. Oh, wow. Let's continue. A car, it's so cold. What are some good ways for people to learn or to figure out ways that, are, that work for them self-soothing if people have different ways that work for them better than others? Ask your friends what they do. Mm -hmm. It's a great conversation. I'm very cold. And try out different things that seem like they would work. One way I figured it out was like if I had a good friend that was stressed because I'm an access service person, what would I do for that friend who was stressed? Oh, well, I might offer them a hot bath and some tea and what would I do? Those things are probably things that are going to resonate for you. Mm -hmm. So give them a try. Put on a face mask. Try having ice cream not to drown out your feelings, but to intentionally just enjoy it and soothe yourself. Yeah. You might want to try light exercise, not stuff that puts your body in a lot of stress, but like going for a walk, especially in the woods, like under trees and, and in nature. Very good for your nervous system. Mm -hmm. Um, breathing exercises, if yoga resonates with you, meditation, or just breathing deeply and letting it nourish you. Or breathing deeply while sitting in a hot tub. Yes. Eating homemade chocolate ice cream. Tune in and notice what soothes you because giving yourself that can make a world of difference. You'll feel recharged, you'll feel like you're important to yourself, and you'll have more to give tomorrow. You'll have a better day. And if you have friends or kids, them seeing you self-soothing mm -hmm. is giving them permission to do it too. So not only are you taking care of yourself, learning how to de-stress, and rewiring your brain and practicing, just like with people who meditate, they can kind of get into meditative states more easily over time. You can learn how to drop in to de-stressing yourself over time, especially when you anchor it with um, activities and things that really work for you, that are really exciting for you, and you can anchor those so that you can go back to them over and over again. And sometimes over time they'll change. Yep, and that's okay. Please leave your comments below. Let us know what you think. What are some of the ways that you de-stress? And if you like these videos, please subscribe to our channel. Bye. <laughs> I can't get <sighs> mine this day.